Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1260. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1260 to 1262, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we've got a great video here about VLOOKUP. Now, our goal is we have a company name, and I need to, with VLOOKUP in one, two, three cells, find the business name here and return address one, address two, address three. But notice, not all company names have an address two and three. So when VLOOKUP looks up and finds Rad Biz, it'll have no problem. But we're going to run into a problem with empty cells in our lookup table. And we're going to see three ways to solve the problem. I'm just going to start off by using VLOOKUP. I need to look up the business name. I need to lock that. So I hit the F4 key, comma, the table. First column has the items we want to try and match. Subsequent columns have items we potentially want to retrieve and bring back to the cell. I want to hit the F4 key to lock that, comma. Now, I have address 1, 2, 3. That's the second, third, and fourth column. And I don't want to type a 2 and then copy it over and change it to 3, and then copy it over and change it to 4. Now, a couple videos ago, we saw how to use the match function to generate column index numbers. When we have field names, we don't have field names here. So we're going to use a different trick. We're going to use the columns function. Now, I'm sitting in B3, so I'm going to type dollar sign B3 colon B3 close parentheses. Now, what does the columns function do? It simply looks at a range and says how many columns there are. B to B column, that's only one. But notice, if the B is locked for the first cell, but not the second, when I copy this to the side, that B will change to C and then to D, generating the numbers 1, 2, 3 in this particular case. I don't want 1, 2, 3. I want 2, 3, 4. So I add 1. So that whole column index number will automatically generate 2, 3, 4 as we copy it to the side. By the way, if you're copying this down and you need to generate sequential numbers, use rows with the dollar sign in front of the 3. All right, so we have our column index number, comma, false, or 0 for exact match, close parentheses, Control, Enter and copy it to the side. Now, I immediately want to point to this Smart tag, hover my cursor, click that little drop down, and I want to say Fill without formatting, because it copied some borders over, over I don't want. Now, I immediately want to come to this cell, hit F2, and check that out. In column index, the columns did its thing. The B is locked, but the C changed. So now columns is looking at B to C, which is 2 plus 1 is 3. So if I hit F9 to evaluate, you can see automatically generating the proper column index number of 3. Now I'm going to click Escape to revert back to the formula before I put it in edit mode. All right, now that's working fine. Let's see what happens when we change this to A, B, C. Sure enough, VLOOKUP, when it sees an empty cell, it's returning a 0. Now, there's a few ways we can deal with this. The best way is probably to simply do a custom number formatting that'll say, when I see a 0, please show me nothing. So I highlight those cells. Control-1 to open up Format Cells. There is Number. I come down to Custom, Highlight. And I'm going to delete that just to start off with nothing. Custom number formatting has four sections. The first section is how do you want the number to display when it's positive. I'm going to put a 0. Semicolon to get to the next section, which is how do you want to display the number when it is a negative number. Now, it actually doesn't matter what we put here, because we're never going to have any numbers. We're always going to have text or 0. So I'm simply going to put a 0 semicolon to get to the third section. That is the section that says, how do you want to display 0? I can just leave it blank. And automatically, whenever a 0 is in the cell, it will not be displayed. Click OK. Boom, there it is, custom number formatting. And since that is formatting for numbers, when I select RAD, 
since it's text, that number formatting doesn't come into play. Now, actually, just to expand on custom number formatting, Control-1, there's four sections to custom number formatting. If I were to type a semicolon, and notice I'm going to leave the third section for 0 empty so it shows nothing. But watch a semicolon. That's the fourth section, which is how you want text to display. You can already see the sample. Since there's text in the cell, it'll show nothing. We don't want that. I'm going to click OK just to show you that there is that fourth section to custom number formatting. Control Z. And what that does is it undoes that last custom number formatting. That's what we're going to use to solve this problem. Click OK. Now if I select Rad Biz, all the text is showing. If I select ABC or Hip Company, boom, custom number formatting to hide that 0 from VLOOKUP. Now if you wanted to do it with the formula, we could come over to 12602, and you could see the 0 right there. Now in order to test for whether we get a 0 or some text, we actually have to run VLOOKUP. I'm going to try to mistakenly use the if error function. Now the if error function checks to see if it, it is an error. And of course, VLOOKUP is not getting an error. It is delivering 0. So that's not going to help us. What I really need to do is check that whole thing. Are you equal to 0? So I'm simply going to come to the end and say equals 0. Now, in the logical test, I have a test. That's either going to come out true when it's 0 or false when it's not equal to 0. So comma. And in the value, if true, that's what I want to see. If it's 0, double quote, double quote. Otherwise, and I'm going to have to repeat this entire VLOOKUP control C. So in the value of false, control V. Close parentheses, control enter. And now I'm going to copy it over. It's going to mistakenly copy those borders. So I point to the smart tag, fill without formatting. And there we go with a formula. I tell you what, I like that custom number formatting. If I change it back to ABC, boom, there we go. You know, I see a little something there. I'm going to delete that. That's not supposed to be there. Now that's with the formula. We're going to look at one more kind of bizarre solution here. You can actually, right now, that's an empty cell. And VLOOKUP will return a 0 when it's an empty cell. But if it was actually a zero length text string, VLOOKUP would show nothing. So in some cases, you might have a use for, and I'm using the Control key to highlight the cells in the table. Or if it was a big table, you'd highlight this, F5 to go to, go to what I want to go to special. And there is blanks, which really means empty cell. Click OK. Now I've highlighted all the cells. Watch this. Equals. Double quote, double quote. That is a silly formula. It's just going to put a zero length text string in the cell, which is text. VLOOKUP will no longer see an empty cell, and so it won't return zero. Control Enter to populate those, and now it is displaying nothing. All right, three ways to fix it when VLOOKUP has to look at an empty cell in a lookup table. We saw a zero length text string formula. We saw a formula solution. And we saw probably the best solution, this custom number formatting to show nothing when VLOOKUP delivers a 0. All right, we'll see you next video.